Well, definitely not. The Brampton Battalion have an all-time record of 13-1-3 against these Mississauga Ice Dogs. And, of course, coming into tonight's game, the Ice Dogs have dropped 15 consecutive games. And the Brampton Battalion are looking to get ready for the playoffs and do a lot of the little things right as they fine-tune their game here coming down the stretch. And Brian Finley will see, will get the start between the pipes once again tonight for the Brampton Battalion. But a bit of a surprise in net, I think, tonight for the Mississauga Ice Dogs, Robbie Garrick. We'll see him between the pipes for Mississauga. Yeah, the last couple of times we've seen Michael Mole in the nets for the Ice Dogs. And boy, see, he's seen a lot of rubber this year, but Mole has been outstanding for the most part. And it's got to be a tough campaign for him. Well, Mole has been fantastic every time we've seen him here on the ice in the Brampton Center against these Brampton Battalion. And I guess it's a good reason for our surprise as to why he's not starting tonight. Kicking off this hockey game here in the Brampton Center. Flash has the puck inside his own zone through the center ice area. McSwain gets it knocked away from him. Hobble runs into his man. Flash steps up in the play and Finley leaves it behind the net for Harrison. For the dog blue line comes through the neutral zone. Robinson chases after it. McDonnell gives it away. Here's the play right out in front. Finley with the big save. Loose puck. Referee loses sight and whistles it down. Davis poked away from him. Battalion back the other way. Henrik as he is clobbered at the center ice area. Labor goes down. They went knee to knee. Henrik slowly making his way back to his feet. It was Dalladay that got a piece of Henrik. Rowan still has it. Tries to feed it out in front. Hobble tries to get it to McSwain. Loose puck. Garrick with a big save. Pile up in front. And a fatty stares the traffic to the outside. And the stoppage in play. Torres muscles his way into the puck. Raffi with it through center ice. Raffi dumps it off. Lesla stops. Gets it to the front. They score! They're going to count that goal. And Garrick is very upset saying he was taken out of the play by Raffi Torres. Boy, I'll tell you something, folks. A strange goal, and I tell you, good things happen when you shoot the puck at the net. All you have to do is hit the net. That's what Klesla do, not a blazing shot. Just a low one, and watch Torres head to the front. He's tied up by Dalladay, cuts into the front of the net. And Garrett just couldn't get back into the crease area. As we, as we can see here on the replay, dalladay has got his stick up in the face of Torres. You can see the referee's got his hand up. There's a delayed penalty coming up on the call. And yeah, like you were saying, all Rafi Torres on that goal. I mean, he's the guy who went to the front of the net. Rusty Klesla's shot was uh, in the right place at the right time, you could say. And what a huge goal with under a minute to go here in the first period. Clement. Brampton buzzing the Mississauga net. Van Lusen with time, gives it out, Torres shot! Huge save from Garrick. Torres then runs over Francis, gets it back to Maleko, lets it fly. That's tipped just wide. Brampton offensive forwards all over the Mississauga Ice Dogs inside their own zone. Holiday for the Ice Dogs. Gathers it up across center, hammered along the boards by Lucas Havel. McSwain to Rowan, leaves it for Hobble. He's got it. Hobble across to the slot. Hobble out in front. They score! Hobble to Rowan. Beautiful two-way passing play. Great job by both of those guys on that shift, really, coming all the way back when the play was heading into the Brampton end, when, when it was Rowan and Hobble really combining for the huge hit here along the close boards, and then carrying the play down the other end. Somehow, Hobble is able to keep this play onside at the blue line, steps around the defender there as he's getting chopped. Then he sees Robbie Garrick is down and out. Hobble's got no room, but there's Chris Rowan sliding in, getting by Dalladay, and able to put the puck in the net as we look at it again. And Garrick had no chance at all on that one as the battalion go up 2-0. Batty has played the center ice. McDonnell takes the hit from Robinson. And they'll go toe-to-toe -to -toe at center ice. McDonnell and Robinson. Now Enafati getting into it with Rafi Torres. Under a minute to go in this power play. Roski steps across, stolen away by Thompson. Klesla steps up, feeds it to McClement with time. McClement tries to stuff it home. Great poke check from Garrick. Hobble on labor. Hobble to the front. Backhand. Big save from Garrick. 
Absolutely. McClemon and Harrison. Harrison looked at upon as one of the top five defensemen available in the NHL draft. Deflected in front. Jarrett gets it. He scores! Patrick Jarrett. Well, Jarrett stepped into the top of the circle, picked the puck up, and fired it past Brian Finley and cuts the lead in half. 2-1 now with 46 seconds to go. That's a big, big goal there for the Ice Dogs. And Patrick Jarrett, we talked about it, the most lethal weapon in the Ice Dog lineup. And there you saw when the puck squirted loose there, there was a number of battalion standing still and pretty much away from the puck here. And Jarrett able to squirt it free and get that shot away really quickly. Because I don't think Finley was expecting a shot out of that uh, out of that melee that ensued there in front of him. With the goal from the Ice Dogs. This is Klesla across the blue line. His shot, huge glove save from Garrick. Across the blue line for McClement. Caught up in his skates. Gives it back for Klesla. With time, big glove save from Garrick. Throw across the blue line. Here's Scott Thompson. He's got Ryan Bonus with him. Back to Bonus. Bonus lets it fly. And Garrick hangs on to the save, accentuating the positive. Tesla still has it. Lugging it through his own zone. Gives it to McClement on the near side. Van Lusen heads to the front. At the side. Big kick as it goes out wide. McClement. Tesla steps up into the play to the top of the slot. Buck is loose and Dalladay clears it away. Maleko with the wrist shot. It goes off. Jerem in front. Garrett caught off stride. Back in. They score. Jay McClemmon. And that just the inexperience of Rob Garrett. He got caught at the side of his net. Got a little impatient. Tried to clear the puck himself. And was beaten as McClemmon puts it home for the two-goal ball. Yeah, I think it all transpired really when Garrett knew that his defensemen were running around having a lot of trouble moving the puck out. And he had some confidence because earlier on in the game he stepped up and cleared the puck out shorthanded. And this time it didn't work out for him as he just couldn't get across in time after getting caught out of the goal in the right corner. And they are now conferring with one of his defensemen trying to figure out who should have been on that puck. Shouldn't have been Mr. Garrick goal department and that's why we talk about Rob Garrett being a standout. Garrick has really played outstanding. Centering pass out in front but Swain with a glorious opportunity in front of Garrick and a nifty play but he couldn't control it at the side of the net. Navigon in front. Well Navigon doing a good job battling with Jay Harrison in front. Deflected. Big save. Rebound. Finley hangs on. Uh, Scott Van Slyke, uh, he does a good job. Not afraid to stand in front and take a beating, which is needed. They score! And a fatty shot from the blue line. Looked like it was deflected in front of Finley. And a 3-2 hockey game with 5.36 to go. And I think that might have been something that Nathan talked about in that second intermission is that Omar anafati has got that shot from the point that he can make stuff happen. And right there, I think it had to have gone off somebody on the way home. But uh, here we go. We're in, in store for a very interesting finish now. The Ice Dogs strike on the power play. We've got ourselves a one-goal hockey game. Once again, something that Brampton has been involved in a lot lately, and that is one-goal hockey games. Feeds it through the top of the slot, and here come the Ice Dogs back the other way. This is Francis. Francis hammered at the blue line by Jason Malenko. Big, big, big hit. What else can you say about that? Francis cutting through the middle with his head down and Malenko with a head of steam just ran over top of Francis. We'll have another look at it here. Trying to cut through the middle and Malenko almost takes his head off at that hit. Here we look at it one more time. Wow. More precious seconds, just 25 of those precious seconds left in this hockey game. This is Saga, has a couple more rushes left. This is Davis for Jarrett to the outside. Malenko after him, backhand, big save, rebound, huge save by Brian Finley. There's another shot, Finley got a piece of that, it goes in the corner. And 
time winds down with just three seconds remaining, and it'll be a lock shot in the corner and clear the length of the ice by the battalion to finish off this hockey game. Boy, what a stellar finish to a great hockey game in the Brampton Center. Fantastic. You knew something was going to happen once Patrick Jarrett had that step to the outside on Jason Maleko, and despite the fact that Brian Finley didn't have a lot of activity, had a lot of activity at the end of that hockey game, it came up big. Yeah, 34-17, the shots on goal, and that was not the telling story. The goaltending at the end of the game by Finley, but throughout the game by Garrick was the defining story here in the Brampton Center. A 3-2 victory for the battalion, and a much needed victory if you're looking at the battalion in the standings. Yeah, of course, a big, big win tonight for the Brampton Battalion as they keep pace with the Windsor Spitfires and the Guelph Storm competing all for that number three spot in the West Conference heading into the playoffs. We're going to take a break here on OHL Primetime. We will come right back. Stay with us for more on Roger Sports.